So now to look at some anti-movement patterns here, it's kind of a similar process where we wanna make sure that we're resisting the movement with the core, the torso, the pillar, as opposed to use, utilizing arms or legs or, or just a, a faulty pattern in general. So with anti-movements, one of the big things that I try to emphasize is reinforcing the appropriate or the optimal posture so that when we're working on resisting forces or torques, we're doing so from either a good position, a good natural foundational posture, or from a specific athletic position. So again, using a, a simple band demonstration here, like a pow-off press, what we'll often see with a pow-off press is we'll get you know, that kyphotic upper rounded back, and we're kind of cranking into the, the pressing action with the shoulders in a bad position. So when we're doing that, we're actually feeding not only a bad pattern, but we're also putting undue stress on the shoulder joints. So we want to think about that athletic posture where our feet are going to be right about hip width apart, feet are going to be flat on the ground, toes straight ahead, soft bend in the knees, and then nice and tall up top. So the biggest cue that I'll utilize on a pow-off press is trying to maintain or keeping the hands at the midline as we're going through the action. If we come up too high or if we're too low, we can pull ourselves out of position. And then again, we're going to start reinforcing things that we don't want to reinforce.